In this video, I'm going to show you how to set rate settings and other price related settings on your VRBO listing. To be able to do that, once you are on your property page, it will look like this. VRBO thankfully doesn't change its UI much. Once you are there, click on the calendars option, which is on the left screen. It is the third option, as you can see. Click there, and then you need to click on rates. Once you are on the rates page, it is going to be looking like the calendar. You don't have to do anything in the calendar, but if you go to the top right corner of the screen, you will see rate settings, and then click on the very first option which is base rate and discount now this is the screen where you can set the base rate for your property like 120 canadian dollars for this property i have set and in the bottom section you can set weekly or monthly discount if you want to offer something for example i usually set five and ten percent discount for weekly and monthly stays you can click on save after that there is one more option if you want to set a different price for different uh, days of the week you can do so as well for that you will need to flip this button under the rate you click on this and you can see it will open all the seven days of the week monday to sunday and usually it is a good idea to set a slightly lower rate for the weekdays for example i would set hundred dollars for monday to thursday and then weekday weekends is obviously it is much higher if you want you can do this within the same profile i don't generally do that because i use dynamic pricing so in this case i'm not going to use it the next tab after this let me just click on save before i move on the next tab after this is the booking requirements this is where you can set the minimum nights anyone can book for it is a good idea to put it to minimum nights too because otherwise you get a different kind of uh, uh, people booking your property i do not advise setting it to two night uh, to less than two nights so this is where you can define the minimum nights. If you go to the next tab, which is the fees, this is where you can set various fees which are associated with the stay. The first one is extra guest. If you want to charge extra for, let's say your property is set for five people and, and you want to have the same rate for four people, but if there is a fifth person coming and you have additional cost like setting up their beds and providing extra linen, you can add that extra cost here in this option. For example, I want to say if there is a fifth person coming up on this listing, I want to charge 10 Canadian dollars per night for that person. So for that, I will do per guest per night. 10 and then for more than four well in this case my property is allowing only maximum four so i'll just say three so my property is set for four people but if someone is booking for a fourth person as well if they are booking for four people vrbo will automatically add ten dollars per night for the fourth person yeah so that is how if you want to have a fee per stay doesn't matter if they are staying for one night or ten nights you can set that amount as well if you wish i generally don't do that i don't recommend it either so i will leave it blank the next option is a cleaning fee it is generally a good idea to charge a cleaning fee so that you can pay your cleaners or to yourself if you're spending time cleaning the property this is where you can set your cleaning fee. You can set it per night or per stay. Uh, I usually set it per stay because per night it doesn't really make a difference because you don't provide the cleaning during the stay generally on VRBO. You provide the cleaning before the start of their stay and once they have left, you, you send your cleaners in. The third option is pet fee if you if you allow pets and if you want to charge them extra for cleaning or something else you can set that fee here in this section in my case i do not allow pets in this property so i will skip this section 
The next section at the bottom is the custom fee. If there are any uh, miscellaneous fee people have to pay in your property, you can set that here as well. Like if, if they have to pay for fresh water, there is a parking fee or extra linen fee or hot tub, heating fee, electricity fee, which is quite common in Asian countries, uh, you know, club facilities or air conditioning, administrative fee, anything it could be, which is additional to the stay. You can set that fee and it is optional. If guest wants to use it, they will pay for it and VRBO will automatically add that amount to your payout. So that is the fee page. Let me just go to the taxes page. So if you are uh, running your business as a company, you can set your uh, tax, uh, tax limits here. For example, if you're paying VAT, you can set your VAT amount, etc. Uh, I generally uh, do not uh, ask VRBO to collect taxes on my behalf, I pay it on myself. So I generally choose the third option. The next option is the damage protection. If you want to uh, charge a damage protection for the guest, you can set that amount here. At the time of booking, VRBO will take that amount and keep it with them. And it will be returned to the guest 14 days after their stay is over automatically unless you make a claim. The third option is the payment terms. This is where you can set the payment terms. Generally, uh, just like hotels do, you know, uh, you can set, say, I generally set a two payment plan. If someone is booking my property, they need to pay 25% at the time of the booking, and then they pay 75% on the the day you choose I generally choose 14 days it doesn't really make a difference to you uh, the the standard cancellation policy still applies to your listing but it just makes it more flexible for someone who cannot afford all the to who cannot afford to pay the entire uh, the fee and charges at the same time it really makes it attractive and you might actually stand out from other properties in the area who are not offering such a fee structure so it is a general generally a good idea to offer this kind of uh, payment terms and it doesn't really make any difference to you so this is uh, these are the six different options you can set under the rate and prices after you're done changes just click on save and that there you go all your price settings have been completed now if you want to set your rules and policies, which is the cancellation policy, for that, you will need to go back into the left panel again and click on property and click on rules and policies. Under rules and policies, you will see the various cancellation policies, which you can choose from. I generally recommend to choose a relaxed cancellation policy. It is a good idea. It still gives you 50% if someone cancels within the last 14 days of their stay. Uh, otherwise, the rest of the uh, cancellation policies are quite strict and they are, I fear they're going to put a lot of people off from booking your property. The next option is check-in in and check out time you can set what time the guest can check in and what is the latest they have to check out uh, the third tab is the house rules section you can set different uh, various house rules how many people can stay in this property what is the minimum age for someone to stay in this property do you allow parties events uh, do you allow pets do you is it suitable for children if it is yes or no you can still add additional loads for example I say it is suitable for children, but we do not have a cot for babies, but we do have a high chair. Let me just say high chair. Yep. That's fine. And if you do allow smoking, click yes, otherwise no, and you can add your own up to five custom rules at the bottom and they will be displayed to anyone booking your reservation. The last tab is the rental agreement. If you have your own custom rental agreement, you can upload that and VRBO will make sure 
the person booking your property accepts that rental agreement before they can come to your property and the last option is booking time it is a, it is a very important uh, place uh, a setting you should always choose instant booking unless uh, you're really uh, sensitive about who comes and stays in your property instant booking is definitely going to increase your booking rate in many folds i always recommend setting instant booking i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful please do like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my work and i'll see you next time bye bye good luck